Peace of the Lord to everyone and the ones who are watching us in every fashion. And peace of the Lord. I'd like to invite those who can. Could to read a couple of verses of the Word of the Lord in Old Testament, Book of Judges. Judge 6. I'm going to read from verse 11. Judge 6. Verse 6 from verse 11. Verse 11? There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Thus says the word of the Lord. Judge 6, 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terror three which was in Oprah, which belonged to Joash the Abia's right, while his son Gideon, Gideon trashed wheat in the wine press in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, mighty man of, of valor. Gideon said to him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles, which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt, but now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us in the hands of the Midianites? Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might, of yours, and you will shall you shall save Israel from the hands of the Midianites. Haven't I not sent you, Lord? May your word be strengthened in our hearts tonight. Your name is being glorified. Our name uh, in your midst, and now what you have prepared for each life here present, and to the ones who are watching us, Lord, have freedom to work to what to work in our midst in on, on our behalf. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. We read this text that the Lord was showing in a vision that a uh, thin rain was falling upon the, the church during the service, upon us. And this rain brought a great refreshing and only bring refreshing the ones who are going through through heat that brings refreshing, right? So now, the Lord is showing to us my brother and sister, my son and daughter, you who are going through a trial, the heat of a difficulty, you ha I have a refreshing for you. And the, ve the vision continues saying that there was a man here in the service or watching with us that throughout the service he remained kneeling down in prayer and an angel look how interesting the angel would pick him up by the hand and would embrace him and would tell him the following the Lord is with you the Lord is with you my brother the Lord is with you my sister, the Lord is with you. And in the text that we just read, it speaks about the situation, a chaotic situation in Israel. Israel would, would sow, Israel would work, and the Midianites, very smart, they waited until Israel had done all the hard work, all the hard labor, to then only snatch what was already finished and what was the greatest worth for Israel. Why? Because it was their sustenance. It was a sustenance. It was a wheat that helped them to prepare food 
and without it, the people would die. But there was a man that was says here in, in verse 11 that his all, all his concern was in to save and preserve that food. And it says on the end of verse 11, now Gideon was, was thrashed wheat in the wine press, so it was a place where not normal for anybody to to thrash the 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 wheat there because he knew he did that because he knew the importance of wheat had on his life and on the life of his family and we have studied about the seed the wheat the wheat falling in a good land good ground and how the Lord brings to our memory the importance of Oh, what is the importance of this seed because what sustains us is the word of God there's a song that says the word of power came out of his throne was the word that ordained the whole creation or in other words is the word that in the beginning says there may be light and there was no questioning would there be light was there not be light? There was light. It was the word that transforms our life. Because when we look, let me open a parenthesis here. When we go back to Matthew 13, that speaks about the sower. Ground, nobody gives any worth to ground. We only know the worth of ground when, when you can uh, plant something there. How many of us here? Nobody has any given any worth to us. They would stomp on us. But today, the world sees something different because when the the wheat sprout and the good ground produce fruit, produce the the food, then people see, oh, this person is different. Why is that? Because there is a word of power that is in our lives. So if today you have worth. It is because because the Lord saw worth in you. The world has not seen worth in you. And many times they don't, still don't see worth in you. But you have great worth to the Lord. And that was the only concern of Gideon. And there was something interesting that happens. Because Gideon, in his great concern, is, is going to do that. But the word says that the angel was already waiting for him there. And we came here tonight. The brethren who are watching us online. Each one has their own difficulties. We have our concerns. It's with the family. It's with work. It's health. We, we miss each other. But the angel was already waiting for us. And you entered here tonight without knowing what was going to happen or if anything was going to happen. But the Lord was already there, sitting by your side. And the word for us tonight, and now I'm going to include myself in it, is the following. The Lord is with you. The angel of the Lord came here tonight, is sitting by our side, is standing here by my side, to say only one thing the Lord is with you ah, oh but now, then comes our questioning why is that because we are limited Gideon with all his courage and we know or many know the, the story of Gideon how courageous he was Gideon also doubted and he says but the Lord but Lord if you are with us, if you are with me, how come all those things are happening? And how many of us don't ask ourselves the same? Lord, you promised to save my life, my family. But how come this, those things are happening? Lord, you promised a new job for me. But why am I going through this trial? How many? 
or how many times we question the Lord. But the Lord tonight, He says, Go on your strength. But, but is, is, your, is the might yours? No. The ones who give you the strength is the Lord. Go with the might of yours that the Lord has given you because the victory has been already decreed. In the book of Revelations, it says the following. And they overcame. We already over, overcame. The servant of, of the Lord does not work seeking victory. He works with the victory by his side because the Lord is by our side. And my brethren, this brother here that was in this position, kneeling down, a position of humbleness, but also kneeling down because many times you don't have strength to get up. How great the trial might, must be. Sometimes we are like that many times, prostrated. Sometimes we prostrate ourselves bef before God's feet. We ask, we plead for mercy. We do not understand what we are going through, what we are going through. But my brethren, we can ask why. Yes, Jesus asked, "Oh Lord, O oh Lord, why have you have thou forsaken me?" And we can ask, why is that? Because and many of us go through this kind of trials. We don't understand. And we may never understand. But the only thing that we need to understand is that the Lord is with us. Is although the trial may come, the heat of the trial, the thin rain is falling also. When the the friends of Daniel enter into the furnace, because they enter into the furnace, the faith was not strengthened in the idea that the Lord was going to deliver them from the furnace or not. Their faith was strengthened on the, the following. I may enter the furnace, but I know that if I enter the furnace, the Lord is with me. If you go through the waters, I will be with you. You're going through the water. Is it covering you up? You cannot even stand up anymore? Don't worry, because the Lord takes you by your arms. Nobody's going to drown my brother and sister, go in this might of yours because the Lord took us out of the world, placed us on this, this location, has strengthened us. Out of us, we don't have anything to offer. We have nothing to offer. If it is for us to fight against the world, we will never win. We will never be vi victorious out of ourselves. But there is a text that every now and then I remember where the servant of Elisha goes there in his, his limitation. He said, Elisha, my Lord, look how many are coming to attack us. Thousands of soldiers. We, we are doomed. And now Elisha turns to him and said, says to the Lord, Lord, open up his eyes so that he may see that the ones we that are with us are um, greater than the ones who are against us. So there are angels, does, dozens, thousands and millions of angels are by, are by our side because that's the promise of the Lord. The Lord has not promised us easy life, but the Lord promises victory. The Lord has not promised a tranquil life, but the Lord promises that He's going to be by our side. You're going to go through the trial, and later on you're going to sing a song of victory. Then you'll be able to look back and you'll say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because I went through this, but in no moment I felt alone because the Lord was by my side. And everything that we battle for is for this inheritance, this word that one day was sown in our heart. And the world, what does the world try to do? The world tries to steal it. The media nights of our days, they, they wait, us for, wait for us to work, work the word of the Lord in our heart, the word to produce fruit. And now when everything is easy, they try to steal it. But in the name, name of Jesus, they are not going to steal because the Lord is with us. Now we're going to sing a song to the Lord and you're going to praise the Lord knowing that 
There is no one like the Lord. There is no one. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless him in the name of the Lord. We're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to praise your name, Lord. Because you are our Lord. But the Lord that gives us strength. Because if we trust on our own strength, we'll be completely lost, Lord. Because we're weak, Lord. Because, but you are the one who, to give us the Holy Spirit, a fire that warms up our hearts. Give us strength to proceed, Lord. 
we know that the victory is assured tonight. You'll be guaranteed in the name of Jesus. Because he overcame for us. That's why we praise the Lord. Because we are thankful for your grace and your love for our lives. That's why we praise you in the name of Jesus. The church will be standing up. The Lord also has shown a man that he is lacking the understanding of what truly is the work of the Lord. And uh, there is something that has been too much in his life. And the more that he may look like something that's good in a certain way it bothers him to the point that he tonight he wants to remove this from his life but the Lord tonight he's telling this man that it is the Lord who is going to remove it the Lord is going to trim what is overflowing if you try to remove it he's going to hurt you and the Lord doesn't want it doesn't want it because the blessing of the Lord is perfect. What the Lord has for me and for you is perfect. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's the measure that we need. Not necessarily what we want, but what we need. So the Lord has for this man tonight. Is this a blessing? It's something perfect. Nothing is too much or not too little. If you try uh, out of ourselves to trim it, is going to have a harm. So the Lord has a special blessing for this man. Amen. Let's close our eyes. Lord, we praise your name for your presence because we are here in your house praising you. Blessed is the Lord in our lives for the victories but also for the trials that teach us so much, Lord. And also for knowing that you are by our sides. We praise you, Lord, and we ask that this service may come to your altar and may turn into blessings to each one of us. Take us home in peace to our homes, under your hands, protecting us, save, blessing each family, giving us a night of peace. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Just reminding the brethren, we're going to have a quick meeting with Group B upstairs. And also, and also we're going to have a youth meeting at 8.45 upstairs. Soon after Group B, the youth may go upstairs. And if anyone needs an assistance or prayer, we're here ready to assist you. And the ones who are in Zoom, if the brand need an assistance or even the brethren who are there, the deacons and ushers can help in the assistance and reminding in our Sunday school through YouTube have at 9 o'clock in the morning here in the United States and at night 7.30 we have another service. Peace of the Lord.